Hi, President Davidson here with the Roadrunner Rundown. We're out in front of the Science Building today to find out what all the buzz is about and the blood sucking in Bob Hancock's laboratory. Let's go on inside. Hey, Dr. Hancock, how are you doing? Dr. Davidson. How You're the you Mosquito doing? Man. I am the Mosquito Man. Why do they call you the Mosquito Man? Well, I've been studying mosquitoes for, oh gosh, 35 years at least. Did we spray some water in there? Not that I'm aware of. Besides you, is there anybody else you know that actually really likes mosquitoes? You know, I, I, th I think of all the people that I know that study them, a lot of them kind of study them with that love-hate thing where they want to yeah. maybe kill them. I really <laughs> do love them. I, I, and the ones that I have here right now, they are very hard to not fall in love with. They really? are extraordinary. Okay, but do they bite you a lot? Yeah, that's what I, that's how I keep my colonies alive. It's all my blood. All right, so this is your lab, and it, it looks to me like a screened-in porch. Yeah. What, what can you tell us about it? Should we walk in there? Yep, we're going to walk in there. Okay. So um, it's not a giant mosquito cage, so there's no mosquitoes flying around. Are you around sure? Because I didn't, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, all right. Go, go for it. So what, what's going to happen is I'll stick my arm in. Let's see if anything happens here. So this is... There's one on your arm. You're not offering up your blood? No, no, this gentleman... Not intentionally. You're not offering up your blood? <laughs> Just him. In this cage alone, with this species of mosquito, there's a gold mine of undergraduate student projects, new to science discoveries. Really? Right here, yeah. Are those, those are larvae? Mm hmm there's And a, we've got some pupae in here. There's a blend, yes ma'am. Got some what? Pupae. What's that? They okay. begin as eggs, as many insects do, and they'll become larvae, which are kind of these yep. long, squiggly guys. But when they get set to sort of mature into adults, they go through a pupation cycle, just like butterflies do. I took an entomology class as a junior and it changed my life. I saw the same kind of extraordinary beauty and diversity of life that the coral reef presented to me earlier. And it was right here in my backyard. All right, so we've had sort of a, a weird spring. Lots of moisture coming off the mountains. Is this a bad mosquito year? What should we be thinking? So right now, it's finally become a bad mosquito year. There are many, many mosquitoes. Uh, the conditions are just right, especially these Culex mosquitoes. Now, Culex is a type of mosquito that feeds preferably on birds. Birds are the ones that harbor West Nile and can give it to mosquitoes. We can't give it to mosquitoes if we have it. So the bird, the, the, the bird has West Nile, the mosquito feeds on West Nile, then the next blood meal, the mosquito feeds on us and we could be infected. Yeah. So we don't know how it's going to play out, but we do know that right now we have lots and lots of these Culex mosquitoes. All my friends were going to go change the world and be medical doctors. And I thought, well, you know what, mosquitoes affect human health on a much broader scale than anything that you're going to do. So for some reason, I just really took an interest in mosquitoes. 